Now another example, let's let's look at natural logs. Natural logs. You will come across this um, in physics later on when we will be talking about decay or the motion of particles in resistive mediums. Some of the calculus or the mathematics that you will encounter will require the use of natural logarithm. Therefore, it is essential for you to review what natural log stands for. Now, we know that the number E is 3.14. It's actually more than this, but this is just the, 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 the most common approximation. The log of any number to base E is the natural log of that number. For example, the log of x to base e is just the natural log of x. So when you see the expression ln, ln is used to signify natural logarithms. Remember, ln is used to signify natural logarithms. So for example, the natural log of x to base e, if that is equal to y, then this means that x is equal to e raised to the power y. That is just the definition that we gave above. That means that x is equal to e raised to the power y. In the same manner, the log of 1 to any base is 0. That means that log 1 to base e, which is just going to be equal to ln 1, this is equal to zero. Always keep this in mind. Um, you will rarely see this. E raised to the power than x is just going to be equal to x. Or in more detailed terms, E raised to the power than f of x is just going to be equal to f of x. Let me give an example. E raised to the power of the natural log of 2 is just 2. E raised to the, to the power x plus 4 is just x plus 4. So these are just some typical examples. Um, you will see some problems in physics that you will need this particular trick in, in simplifying the problem. So this comes to the end of logarithms. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me now. How, why, why is, the question remains in mind, why is logarithm so important in physics? Logarithm is very important, especially in the labs. Sometimes you will be investigating, or most of the times you will be investigating nonlinear relationships. For example, let's say you have a ball and that ball is allowed to fall to the ground from a certain height. The relationship between that height and time is given by 1 half g t squared. If you draw this graph, it's going to be a curve. But there are ways that you can actually use to linearize this function to make it easy on you. That is where logarithms will actually come into play. For example, if you take the logs of both sides, you have the log of y is equal to the log of 1 half g t squared. This is the same as the log of 1 half g plus the log of t squared which means that the log y is equal to a constant because this is a constant plus 2 the natural log of t in other words you have linear rise this equation so if you now draw a graph of log y 
against log t it's going to be a straight line graph with the intercept which is equal to our constant k now the slope of this graph will equal to 2 you see that it is way easier for you to analyze a straight line graph than to analyze a curve it is way easier for you to analyze a straight line graph than to analyze a curve thank you so much for your time if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask in the discussion forum below